I wrote 1,500 words in my column on Monday about the series in the Kansas City-Cincinnati game that Ron Torbert and his crew absolutely yeah, butchered. messed up. Right. They butchered that series. Right. Now, I got, I've gotten a ton of emails from people. Oh, you know, the, the Chiefs are the better team. They would have won. This is not about that. Yeah. It's not about who should win, who wasn't going to win, anything like that. It is about the fact they made five mistakes in one series. They forced the Cincinnati Bengals on defense to play four more snaps than they should have. They forced the coach of the Bengals, Zach Taylor, to take a timeout at yeah. one point during this. They were just simply disorganized. And Mike, I want to ask you, does that say anything larger about the uh, the art of officiating, the profession of officiating in the NFL today? Well, it just underscores the fact that the NFL needs to devote more time and more resources to creating the impression they're doing everything possible to get it right. There is a limit to how accurate the calls are ever going to be. You're never going to be 100%, but you can create the impression you're doing everything right. And you've identified a tangible era, area where you can expect more. And if they are full-time, they run through these examples. They know it's second nature. I like your take on the idea that sometimes maybe they think there's safety nets out there. Yes. There's too many safety nets. That's and correct. the problem is the safety nets didn't activate. Yes. They didn't activate. Nobody said to Ron Torbert, oh, wait, wait, no, the clock should not start on your signal, just the play clock. That was one of the mistakes. It was mistake number two in the right. chain of events. Right. But everybody needs to be more dialed in. The officials need to be more aware. The backup needs to be aware. The backup to the backup needs to be aware. But that was just a strange series of everything fell apart. And and that's that's something where the NFL needs to embrace it, not shrug at it and say, how do we take this example and keep it from happening again? I'm not, I don't necessarily believe that full-time officials would improve officiating very much. Certainly wouldn't make it worse. Perception. But I have a hard is... time thinking they wouldn't get that rule right. If you're in it all year long, yeah. right away, you're going, wait, we, the clock keeps going there, guys. Come on. This is this is month 11 of this. Yeah. That's where I, I feel like little nuances like yeah. that. It, it's, it's entirely possible. But I have now become convinced that you do need to make the officials full time in part because of the perception, but also in part and, you know, Mike, I've heard this for a long time. Officiating is a collection of a thousand little things. Yes. And the little things that were messed up in that one, from the replay official up top not calling into Ron Torbert's ear, hey, wait a second, wait a second, the last play was an incompletion. The game clock doesn't start, uh, you know, when I blow my whistle, just the play clock because it's coming after an incompletion. And he should have corrected it right there. So the replay official didn't help him. Walt Anderson in New York didn't help him. And by the way, the other thing I learned since I wrote this, you know that there's an alternate referee at this game. And I forget who it was. I was told who it was and I just forget. But the alternate referee has the ability to talk to him. So like, and this is why to me, when I start hearing, oh, you gotta, you gotta have a sky judge, you gotta have a sky judge. I mean, how many more safety nets do you want for the guy? You know, you've got the replay official upstairs, you've got the officiating command center in New York. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have the sky judge, but come on, do your effing job. Well, and I look at it this way, we have people talking to us all the time. If I was gonna throw it a break and say coming up next, Dallas tight end Dalton Schultz, somebody would say, no, 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 it's Mark Andrews. I mean, yeah, they do yeah, it immediately. Yeah, 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 people yeah, who right. are in a position to help yeah. are in a position to help, and they do it. I had an epiphany on full-time officials, and I was already convinced of it, but you were telling a story on a Friday edition of the show, and you were remembering the time that you were embedded with Gene Steratore's crew, yeah. and you mentioned, and we didn't talk about it at the time because you were still in the middle of your story, and we didn't circle back to it, your anecdote about Dino Paganelli. Yeah and how he's working and he's putting his kids to bed and he's trying to carve out. He's a single dad. Yeah, he's trying to carve out an hour on a Wednesday night between yeah. 10 and 11 o'clock when he just passes out from exhaustion yeah. to review film. If you're a full-time employee, yeah. you don't have to just You're not in. at school that exactly. day. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. It's yeah. what you do all the time. It's exactly. the full focus of your professional pursuits 12 yeah. months out of the year. They don't want to pay for that. I, th I, 
We know. We know they can be a little, but, they know, be a little I'm cheap. I'm not sure. Mike, they don't want to pay. Mike, let me just ask you this. The highest paid officials, the most veteran officials, the referees, make high 200s to 300s, somewhere in, in that Plus range. Plus whatever they make somewhere else. That's what you've got to buy out, well, whatever they're making somewhere else. But, but, but I think most of those guys, and I asked a couple of the guys who've come over to the media side, I've asked them, how many officials would leave the business if they couldn't do their full-time job? Who's making so much money at the thing? And they all said that they didn't, they thought, one of them said they thought it'd be less than 10. Another said they thought it would be around 10. There's 117 officials. If you lose 10, eh, big deal. Yeah. So I, I think that it probably is a good idea, but the one thing that I just dread is, it. let's say they do it in 2024, okay? Then in 2024 season, everybody's gonna say, oh my God, the officiating still stinks. How in the world? You got full-time officials. How can they be making these mistakes? Because it's hard to officiate a football game. That's why. But at least if we have full-time officials, those of us who comment on the mistakes will no longer be able to say, well, if they were full-time officials, they wouldn't have made that mistake. Yeah, so it'll be yeah. another reason for it. And I still think it'll improve. It's never going to be 100%. Yeah, yeah but right, it'll improve. Right. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.